Alright, well we're going to crack on with a bit more Star wars stuff, but I just thought I would toss in some poly bags just, just to give you something to look at. We're going to go to one of the most classic and one of my favourite scenes in the entire universe movie Star Wars. And it features one of my favourite droids, it's FX-7, the sort of, the uh, Swiss army knife of droids. And there he is. Now, I'll be interested to see if all these arms do come out and if they are, all have double articulated arms, in which case he's quite possibly going to be the most articulated action figure I own. Now then. Now then, now then, now then. So, yes, so FX7, amazing. So, you'll all remember the scene that FX7 was in, and it was the scene where uh, Luke Skywalker is splish splash, she's taking a bath, bum 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 bum. Now then, on the blurb on the back, which you can probably read that if you can pause it and zoom in and, um, I don't know, kind of Photoshop or whatever other technical things you would need to do. Uh, it tells you about how Get FX7 is one of the most pivotal characters in the Star Wars universe, because him and his mate saved Luke Skywalker's life by putting him in this tank. Now, I thought that he was in this tank to get the smell of the bloomin' tauntaun off him, that's what I thought, like, that's how, was, how I was read into it, but, uh, apparently, no, this, this is git life-saving oxygen git bath kind of exfoliation thing going on. No. Nope. I thought it was just a warm-up. Yeah, <laughs> that's a nice hot bath to warm him up. Um, and the other thing as well is, like, you know, people always going about, like, oh, the people came of age when git Princess Leia Piranha git bikini. Well, look. There's Luke Skywalker, a whole film before there, wearing a man-sized git Terry's towel for all to see. So, I mean, anyway, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get these cracked open and we'll have a look at them in the actual flesh. Quite literally on this guy. Ah, look, blood! Blood! Quick, someone run me a bath! <laughs> <laughs> Will you stop saying funny things after I've paused it? <laughs> Say it again, nice and loud, so the audience at home can hear. They might choke on your chocolate Santa. <laughs> I said you should have unpacked the medical droid first. I know. <laughs> Plastic cut. Ow. And look, they've even put kind of a watered picture behind the watering featurey thing. That's quite nice. Uh, Yes, so obviously opening this packet, I've lacerated my finger, which is not good. I just taped in and got these uh, 2B1B, get, or not 2B1B's um, kind of little action station. Unfortunately, they did have the power of the force 2B1B, 2BBD1B there, but uh, I didn't pick them up. And he went, somebody came and bought him, so I cried a little bit. Like you do, so there's Luke Skywalker, and I think you can take, oh yes, you can. Uh, you can, oh god, he's got all sorts of, stuff. got like one of them security tab things on him. Uh, oh. Luke, man, you flipping, fancy having a bit of good plaque stuck to your back. Oh, and he's got this tank thing stuck on his face. And Right, so there he is, um, out of the, the packaging. He's, uh, let's see how articulated he is. Oh, his legs do move a little bit, so you can have him, like, uh, I suppose you could do, like, a stop frame animation of him, kind of drowning, kind of splashing about, going there. Uh, you didn't put any mateys in for us. So anyway, we'll hook him back in. Because I did notice uh, a moment ago that reading the packet... Stick him back in. Get back in your box. Oh, and I pulled the pipe. <laughs> the pipe's been pulled. That, you can fill it full of water. It says you can fill it full of water and blow in this tube. <laughs> so, so you know I'm going to have to do that, don't you? But anyway, we'll get the FX7 out first and hopefully, hopefully the, the, that's not going to leave a scar, is it? Eesh, I don't know. Get big soft buggy. <laughs> This thing's pretty special. I really do like it. Uh, it's a nice upgrade. It unfortunately doesn't do the head expanding thing, or at least I haven't pulled hard enough to find out whether I will actually just pull its head off, or it does have that feature. It does have a twiddling knob on the front, which is always uh, handy um, to be able to do. You can turn his head, and you can turn this bit, which kind of goes clickety-click, like as if you're changing gears on a bike. 
And each one of these arms has two pieces of articulation. It has one at the top and at the middle. There you go, so you can kind of make them thingy. And like I say, it is like the Swiss Army knife of the droid world, so you can have them where you can put the bread, put the bread, put the bread, put the bread, put the bread. But I won't keep doing this by the way, but the bread, <laughs> but the bread, basically you can put the bread. Um, but it does look pretty impressive like that, with a few of them sp sprilled, sprawled, flayed, flombe flombeared, I don't know, anyway, so, and, and apparently in the back of this package, which is, there's far too much information on the back of this pack for my liking. Coming soon, I just looked at the picture, coming soon, you can stick them in there, look. Ta-da! He's actually designed to fit in there. Now, I don't know when we will ever, 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 or if we have already, get another version of this. I can't see when that's going to happen. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. I can't see when that's going to happen. But the fact that we have one, and, you know, it's actually really nice as far as, like, a little scene goes. I mean, obviously, if you had somebody stood there doing something of, um... Who have I got? Quickly, Paul. I will do. There you go, so you can have this guy kind of go on there. Look, your your wife's online too. I'll take it in the, uh, in my office. So let's get this filled up, Wanna, and see what happens when I blow the bubbles. I like me big jugs. Oh yeah, so good a nice big jug. I've probably put like far too much water in the jug, but it's better to have too much jug and water than not enough. Now this is where I get water everywhere. So pouring water next to droids is probably not the uh apologies if anybody needs to go for a wee now by the way just you know, i'll uh, i'll not quite fill it up because i'm taking into account the ratio of luke skywalker's mass and the water gravity so i'll dip them in uh, oh that's that's almost perfect look at that Ta -da! now that looks pretty f pretty nice doesn't it Sorry, 3 po I've just knocked you over. So, there you are. There's Luke Skywalker. I can put somebody in, in the background, look. See? See 3 po behind the... Oh, God. Right, so now then, can you hold this for us, please? <laughs> he says, What's the blowing? What's to give this a bit of a blow? Oh. What? Oh, no. First coffee I've made you in 20 years, and you've knocked it out. Right, it's still recording this, by the way. How are you? All right. Bit of uh, urgency, please. Don't have to get my mush in it. Can't see anything. Yep. Yeah. Because you're blocking the light. You're blocking the light. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you know, blowing in here at the same time. No. You are blocking the I'm light. I'm going to use one of my appendages at the same time. So couldn't see. Okay, we'll no. move them there. Right. <laughs> right, your hands in the way. Mm. Gonna pass out yet? <laughs> <sighs> That's a really thin tube, <laughs> <laughs> so you have to really concentrate all your effort in blowing into a very small area. <sighs> right. Well, oh, I'm kind of <sighs> gonna go and take me what's them things that you take when you can't breathe very well. <laughs> <laughs> People use them for asthma. If you need to ask, <laughs> if, you do, if you need to ask, it's too late because you'll have died of asphyxiation. Mm. Right, so thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you all in another Star Wars and possibly other videos featuring toys not Star Wars related.